In few of any countries has a social explosion left its mark as quickly and pervasively as here. You've probably all heard of the phrase, if only the walls could talk. Well, in Chile, that is exactly what they are doing. So I thought it would be interesting to show you exactly what it is that they're saying, starting with this. Bleeding eyes represent the unprecedented number of protesters who've lost one or both eyes as a result of being shot by riot police with pellets. These walls reflect the evolution of Chile's social outburst. This was one of the first to go viral. The time has come. Chile has awoken. No more student loan debt. No more AFP, Chile's private pension system. No more collusion from big business. Anger against Chile's neoliberal economic system predominates, with slogans like, taking a bullet costs less than staying in the system. <laughs> One of the most widely seen messages is this, no more abuses, in this case written over the name of President Piñera, while above, a more disturbing message that reads, at war against order. Another one screams, let everything burn. The anti-establishment graffiti and messages are everywhere. This one says, cure yourself of capitalism, but a great percentage of what's on these walls targets the riot police. And this new one shows the face of the director of the national police with a rope around his neck. And underneath it says, the night will fall and we will dance over their bodies. But many others reflect more hope than rage. And in recent weeks, the graffiti has become more sophisticated and artistic. We met muralist Felipe Garrido as he began his latest work. Art shouldn't be just decorative, but reflect the historic and political moment we're living. And we're living a moment that I think could transform into a Latin American uprising, starting in Chile, and it's our mission as artists to represent it, to show what's happening. The finished work features the Monopoly mascot, Rich Uncle Pennybags, calculating that hundreds of protesters' eyes are worth less than 30 pesos, the tiny amount that the Metro Fair went up last month. That was the detonator of a social explosion that has destabilized the region's most stable nation. The explanation on this wall, it wasn't peace, it was silence. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.